Our team coverage continues tonight. As we told you, police believe that alcohol may have played a role in that deadly crash. We want to be very clear. Authorities say that it was another vehicle, not the vehicle with the young men inside that was responsible for that crash. As loved ones mourn the loss of these three men from Prince George's County, some are saying that this is yet another reminder of the consequences of drunk driving. Here's Alexis Wainwright. You're putting yourself at risk. You're potentially putting other people at risk. It's a decision made in a matter of seconds that can change your life. Getting behind the wheel when you're under the influence. We have to remind people that impaired driving is still a major public health crisis on our roads. And that's the conversation happening now. We spoke with Stacy Stewart, the CEO of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Unfortunately, it is true that far too often a lot of these crashes are caused by uh, drunk drivers or drug drivers. And in fact, in the past three years, we've seen an, an incredible increase in the number of fatalities due to uh, drinking and, and drugs uh, in Maryland. This comes after three young men were killed early Saturday. We pray for the families. Our hearts go out to them. Isaiah Hazel, Kyrie Jackson, and Anthony Lighton Jr. were riding together on Route 4 in Upper Marlboro when Maryland State Police say a car that was speeding hit there, sending their car into several tree stumps. Police say alcohol may have played a factor in this crash. And we'll wait to see how it all plays out with the investigators. But again, just another reminder that we cannot drink and use drugs and drive. Data from the Maryland Highway Safety Office shows between 2018 and 2022, an average of 145 people died from either alcohol or drug related crashes. Maryland has a dedicated team of trained troopers with its state police impaired driving reduction effort who are helping to get impaired drivers off of the road. But drunk driving continues to be a problem statewide. While authorities and advocates learn more about this tragic crash, they hope it serves as an opportunity for others to think before getting behind the wheel of a car impaired. Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9.